Hi, Shaker Road students. Um, this is our week four sing-along, and uh, today we're going to be creating a rain stick. So I can show you mine. It is just a paper towel tube, and I taped the ends closed. And inside, there is a spiral of tin foil and some rice. And when you flip it, it's the rice goes down the tin foil. So all of the songs we're doing today are rain related. And so if you guys would like to make a rain stick, you can follow um, the link that's posted about how to make a rain stick. You can Google it, how to make a rain stick, or you can just make the one that I made. Um, like I said, inside is just a spiral of tin foil and some rice. So you guys can do that on your own. You can decorate it um, however you want. Stamps or stickers or, or paper or whatever would work really well. All right. So go ahead and, and make your rain sticks and um, then come on back and we'll do some songs with our rain sticks. All right. Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Hello, hello. today is called Pitcher Patcher. It goes like this. Pitcher Patcher, Pitcher Patcher, listen to the rain. Pitcher Patcher, Pitcher Patcher, on my window pane. We can use our rain stick. Instead of doing the movements, we can use our rain stick to make rain sounds. Pitcher Patcher, Pitcher Patcher, Listen to the rain, pitter patter, pitter patter, on my window pane. That's pretty cool. If you have a few people in your house, you can also make rain sounds with your hands. So you can do them with your hands on your lap. With a with a bigger group of people, it makes a really loud rainstorm. With a smaller group of people, you can make a really quiet rainstorm. So first, you're going to rub, rub your hands. And then add in snaps or clucks with your, with your mouth. Then add in your hands. So if you have a few people in your house and you want to give that a try, um, first you rub. Then you snap, then you pat, and it'll make a really cool sounding rain song. All right, how about this one? The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Some of our friends also like to do the great big daddy spider, so we're going to make a big spider. Here we go. The great big daddy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the great big daddy spider went up the spout again. And sometimes we like to do our teeny tiny, teeny tiny, tiny spider like this. The teeny tiny spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the teeny tiny spider went up the spout again. <laughs> all right. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Do you know that song? Let's see. Hmm. We're going to flip this over and let's see if we can sing 
Rain, rain, go away with our rain sticks. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. That's kind of fun. I really like using my rain stick. I think I'm going to decorate it. <laughs> All right. <sighs> All right, now you guys should know this song pretty good. Let's see. Here we go. If all the raindrops were lemon drops and gumdrops, oh, what a rain that would be. I'd stand outside with my mouth open wide. If all the raindrops were lemon drops and gumdrops, oh, what a rain that would be. If all the snowflakes were candy bars and milkshakes, oh, what a snow that would be. Showers bring May flowers. We have had some rain in April so far, and I wonder if it's raining today. Hmm. At my house today it is sunny, but yesterday it was raining. I wonder at your house is it sunny, or is it raining, or is it snowing? I don't know. So we're singing lots of rain songs in April. And maybe in May, we can sing lots of flower songs. Hmm. All right. I have kind of a silly one for you. Um, I don't think I've done this one yet um, with my Shaker Road friends. So it's just going to be a silly song. And you're going to copy my movements. Okay? It goes like this. I'm singing in the rain. Just singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling. I'm happy happy again arms out i'm singing in the rain just singing in the rain what a glorious feeling i'm hap hap happy again arms out thumbs up i'm singing in the rain just singing in the rain what a glorious feeling i'm hap hap happy again arms out thumbs up feet apart I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling. I'm hap, hap, happy again. Arms out, thumbs up, feet apart, knees together. I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling. I'm hap, hap, happy again. Arms out, thumbs up. Feet apart, knees together, bum up. I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling. I'm hap, hap, happy again. Arms out, thumbs up, feet apart, knees together, bum out, head up. I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling. I'm hap, hap, happy again. Arms out, thumbs up, feet apart, knees together, bum out, head up, tongue out. I'm feeling, that's kind of a silly one. <laughs> All right. I have a, two songs to share with you, a story, um, a song and a story. So our song 
is going to be um, the Rainbow Connection, which is one of my favorite songs. Um, I, I love this song. And, uh, and usually Kermit the Frog sings it. I'm not going to sing with my Kermit voice, but if you like to, you can look it up and see Kermit singing the song too. this going. Here we go. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? And what's on the other side? Rainbows are visions, but only illusions. And rainbows have nothing I hope you like that song. It's one of my favorites. And as I was thinking about songs about the rain, that's the one that popped into my head. So I thought you would like it. All right, our story today, I don't have any rain stories in books. So I thought we would do this one instead, Over in the Meadow. It's a lovely song um, about lots of animals. You might be finding animals coming out since it's springtime now. Um, you're probably hearing birds chirp. You're probably seeing bees pretty soon. Maybe even frogs soon. There's a turtle. <laughs> um, I wonder what other animals we'll find in our book. Here we go. Over in the meadow, in the sand, in the sun, lived an old mother turtle and her little turtle one. Dig, said the mother, I dig, said the one. So he dug all day in the sand in the sun. Over in the meadow where the stream runs blue lived an old mother fish and her little fishes too. Swim, said the mother, we swim, said the two. So they swam and were glad where the stream runs blue. Over in the meadow in a hole in a tree lived a mother bluebird and her little birdies three. Sing, said the mother, we sing, said the three. So they sang and were glad in the hole in the tree. Over in the meadow, in the reeds on the shore, lived a mother muskrat and her little rats four. Dive, said the mother, we dive, said the four. So they dove and they burrowed in the reeds on the shore. Over in the meadow, in a snug beehive, Lived a mother honeybee and her little honeys five. Buzz, said the mother, we buzz, said the five. So they buzzed and they hummed in the snug beehive. Can you buzz like a bee? Bzzz. <laughs> Over in the meadow in a nest built of sticks lived a black mother crow and her little crow six. Caw, said the mother, we caw, said the six. So they cawed and they called in their nest built of sticks. Over in the meadow where the grass is so even, lived a mother cricket and her little cricket seven. 
chirp, said the mother, we chirp, said the seven. So they chirped cheery notes in the grass, soft and even. Over in the meadow by the old mossy gate lived a brown mother lizard and her little lizards eight. Bask, said the mother, we bask, said the eight. So they basked in the sun by the old mossy gate. Over in the meadow uh, where the clear pool pools shine lived a green mother frog and her little froggies nine. Croak, said the mother, we croak, said the nine. So they croaked and they jumped where the clear pool shine. Over in the meadow in a soft shady glen lived a mother firefly and her little flies ten. Shine, said the mother, we shine, said the ten. So they shone like stars in the soft shady glen. I hope you liked that book. It's one of my favorites. Over in the Meadow is a folk song, um, and the illustrations in this book were by Ezra Jack Keats, um, who does very wonderful illustrations in all of her books. So if you are looking for um, a great book, that's a good one to, to find. All right, I hope you had a good sing-along this week. And like I said, if you are um, interested in making your own rain stick, uh, this is our instrument of the week this week, um, you can make one. I'm going to pull mine apart really quick. We have a few minutes. Um, so you can take a peek at what mine looks like on the inside. On the inside, I have um, tin foil, and I curled it up. So I posted a, um, a link on how to make this um, on the Facebook page. So if you're wondering about that, check out the Shaker Road Facebook page um, for more information on how to make your own rain stick. Um, and then I just used tape. I put tape on both sides and then put it right over the top to make my rain stick. And I used rice on the inside. So if you're wondering about how to do that on your own, um, you can look it up. You can find other ways. I'm sure there are lots of ways to make rain sticks at home. If you want to get really creative, you can do the um, uh, nails in the side of a thicker tube, and uh, and that makes a really cool rain stick sound too. So, all right. I hope it's not raining every day this this week, but I I hope you guys have a great week, and uh, and I hope you liked our sing along this week. Have a good day. <laughs>